Hi Hill Knight, welcome to my channel. This video is a miniature review of Mary Poppins Returns. Joining me for this miniature review are my nieces. Lady, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Camo. And Underat. All right. And we recently saw Mary Poppins Returns. It's a sequel to the original Disney Mary Poppins. Uh, we all had some interesting opinions about it. Uh, let's start with you, Camo. Uh, what did you like about the movie? I can't choose just one thing because, like, the whole movie was good. Oh, no, fine. Just talk, so you can say, say well, three things. Uh, one of them is the fact that they were on the uh, Big Ben. <laughs> um, the second was the bathtub scene. All right. The whole underwater sequence and everything yeah. in the bathtub? Okay. And the third was when uh, the one good guy let them into the bank. Yeah, that's nice. Trying to help them. Yeah, that's nice. Now... She didn't want to see the movie, did you? No. no. <laughs> but was there anything you liked about the movies while you were, while you were watching it? No. 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 She, she did smile several times, but you she say chuckled. you chuckled. I heard chuckle it. She said, But but you say you just like to chuckle and smile, right? Yeah. I'm just. I've been born up weird. I like smiling <laughs> a lot for no reason. Well, a couple things I like. First of all, Emily Blunt wears three-inch pumps instead of uh, two-inch pumps as uh, the original Perry Ponson did. And, of course, you know, I love high heels, so, you know, I, I call myself high heels for a particular reason. Uh, another thing I like was her performance, but I didn't quite like her character, and I'll speak more about it a little later. Uh, the songs were all nice. Uh, except for one particular song that I hope we'll talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ahead of me. <laughs> And I will say, I'm very happy that I saw Aquaman first before seeing this movie because, as you said, there's a sequence that takes place underwater in this fantasy realm, and the uh, special effects are intentionally not as dynamic as in Aquaman. But still, if I had seen this sequence first, I probably would have affected how I enjoyed Aquaman because Aquaman takes underwater so much. <laughs> now, was there anything in particular that you did not like about the movie? Nothing. No. Nothing at all. Nothing annoying. Nothing, nothing at vexing. Nothing surprise. Nothing. Uh, I was scared when he got onto the t uh, the clock, the Big Ben. The Big Ben. Uh, yeah. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Uh, now, how about you? Was there anything that you didn't like about the movie besides just being? I did not like anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were a couple things I didn't like about the movie. Like I said, I like Emmy Blunt's performance. But I didn't like her characterization. In the original, Mary Poppins comes off as poised and confident, whereas this Mary Poppins comes off as arrogant and kind of cruel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Neglecting. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so, and, and like her uh, nannying skills seems to be one part traumatizing children, especially poor Georgie, and another part willful neglect. I mean, there's periods where they're just, the children are just left on their own to fit for themselves. They're like, Mary, where are you? Why do you want to? Uh, doing anything uh, and another thing I did like was the uh, sequence that takes place in the uh, music hall because it's a cabaret and cabaret is not really something you show children and then there's one of the songs well actually both of the songs but it's like did they how did they approve these lyrics there's some songs about someone getting decapitated and like their heads spike on the thing or something like that and I'm like this is for children you, you see the children in the audience the children you're cutting to the children how did this get approved in this child's movie so it's like it was just so weird um and my father their grandfather they also saw witness and he said that uh, he liked the songs but there's nothing that really stood out there's nothing that uh, really felt like the signature song of the movie which is really uh there was one <laughs> oh, that stood out to me which one stood out to uh, you? the one where they were talking about her their mom the mom the um gone gone but not, uh, yeah not, gone but not forgotten yeah something like that i'll, yeah. I'll look up the mm -hmm. actual term but uh, yeah, the songs are nice, but yeah, the, the, but when originally had super kind of fragile that's about it. Those, that's the song in the movie. <laughs> yeah. But even still, there are other you know cool songs like uh, the Step in Time song and um, you know uh, clean the song they sing, uh, yeah. clean up the room or something like that. And so it's like, you know, it, it, good songs, but yeah, they all sort of feel evenly. Maybe because Lin Manuel or Miranda Hayes or whatever his name is, you know, yeah. maybe I'm just getting too used to his songs because he's in so much now. But yeah. Uh, but the one thing I, I 
did it like most of all. And I was smiling through the whole movie. She was smiling a few times in spite of what she was saying. Yeah, because I like smiling. Stay up here, dear, so you can see, see her on the screen. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, like I said, it's the characterization of Mary Poppins. It's like she she just, just comes as arrogant and just you know, neglectful. <laughs> and, and, and plus there's some uh, story threads in the movie that aren't particularly important, but sort of just left drop like uh the father um he used to be an artist and that doesn't come up he doesn't get back to artistry or anything like that and uh the uh cousin played by the overrated Meryl Streep it's like it's a nice scene but it feels like it was just there to be there because she fixes a vase and that vase never gets we don't see it get returned to the home so it's like yeah the bowl. Uh, yeah well, are we gonna get that bowl back or not so uh, it was a nice film, I, you know. I do recommend seeing it if you want to go see it. You know, it's not, you know, I didn't, it, I didn't sit in the theater and go. Ugh. No, I was smiling from beginning to end. But no, I much prefer the original. I could watch this again if it comes on TV, but yeah, I'm not eager to see it again. How about yourself, though? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten <laughs> for, for this young lady. If I were rating it, I would give it a C plus. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you get a plus plus. She liked it, loved it, and but you, you, you're just. She gave it an F. She failed it. <laughs> F and zero and zero. All right, a thousand zeros. <laughs> a thousand F. <laughs> a thousand F. Oh, okay, plus. okay. Yeah, oh, oh, all right. She, well, she gave it an F. She failed it. Oh, okay, okay, dear. All right. She, she did not enjoy herself, but even though she was smiling the whole time, I think I think if we saw a movie that she wanted to see, she probably would have been having a little bit better uh, experience. Yeah. She'd be like ten out of ten. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Ten out of ten. Right. So ten out of ten plus A ever. Okay. So those are our thoughts about Mary Poppins Returns. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I want to thank my nieces. Miss Underwrap and Miss Camo. Ladies, say the audience goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. And find inspiration everywhere. No, thank you. <laughs>